In March last year, reports from the Daily Mirror claimed there had been a fallout between Camilla Parker Bowles and Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex allegedly broke an understanding not to overshadow a long-planned speech by Camilla on domestic violence. Meghan posted photos of her at a theatre as the Duchess of Cornwall gave her address. Camilla was said to be very upset. One well-placed insider said, Camilla's work is very important to her and her decision to highlight the scourge of domestic violence at the 10th anniversary of Women of the World was a carefully thought-out plan. Over the last four years she has worked tirelessly, mostly behind the scenes but to great effect, to use her platform and personal experiences to highlight the issue and help sufferers. Of course it was known Harry and Meghan would be doing engagements this week, some privately, but everyone was in agreement that Camilla's speech should take precedence. Unfortunately some people had other ideas. Camilla's speech was nonetheless praised after she discussed domestic violence and started a new social media campaign. The Duchess of Cornwall said at the time, as a somewhat ancient technophobe, is not always familiar with some of the jargon younger people use today, but I do know about hashtags. And now I'm using my very first one. Hash everyone's problem. Domestic abuse is everyone's problem and the solution must be too. I find it almost impossible to think any friend of mine might be living under that horrific threat, without my knowing it, but that is the power of coercive control and violence in the home. It is characterized by silence. Silence from those that suffer, silence from those around them, and silence from those who perpetrate abuse. This silence is corrosive. It leaves women, children and men carrying the burden of shame. It prevents them from speaking out about the abuse and it prevents them from getting help. And at its worst it can be fatal. Meghan and Harry also share a passion for helping women in need of help due to domestic violence. In February, contributed to the disaster relief efforts in Texas after the southern state was hit by a deadly storm. Among the donations, they sent cash to the Genesis Women's Shelter and Support, a charity that has been helping survivors of domestic violence for over 35 years. The charity was forced to close after the ceiling and pipes at its transition housing unit were shattered by the storm. The Life Saving Service, which provides emergency accommodation to over 650 women and children every year, has now been forced to find alternative accommodation for its residents.